Caesar. No. Bonavid, arresting you for crimes and contravention to the laws of Camelot. And you did practice enchantments. When? Well, what have I done? I haven't done anything. Help me, please. What are you doing? I found a magic poultice in her house. Oh, that's ridiculous. How else do you explain her father's recovery? Well, she's innocent. I know she's innocent. What can I do? I can't turn a blind eye. He got better. He just recovered. I didn't do anything. I believe you. Perhaps this is a disease that is not always fatal. Have you thought of that? Perhaps you recovered naturally. Oh, please, no, I'm innocent. Please, please, no. Please help me. Please, I beg you. No. I know Gwen. She's my maidservant, not an enchantress. Have you ever seen an enchantress? Believe me, they bear no sign, no mark. There is no sense of evil in the eye. I've seen the way the girl works. Her fingers are worn, her nails are broken. If she was a sorceress, why would she do this? Why would she kneel on a cold stone floor morning after morning when she could make these things happen with a snap of her fingers? Like an idle king. You have no right. You have a right to cast a judgment on I that. I have a responsibility to take care of this kingdom. I take no pleasure in this. But you're sentencing the wrong person. She's right, father. You hear the word magic, you no longer listen. You saw it for yourself. She used in shock. Yes, maybe, but to save her dying father, that doesn't make her guilty of creating a plague. One's the act of, of kindness, of love, the other of evil. I don't believe evil's in this girl's heart. I have witnessed what witchcraft can do. I have suffered at its hand. I cannot take that chance. If there is the slightest doubt about this girl, she must die or the whole kingdom may perish. I understand that. One day you may become king. Then you will understand. Such decisions must be made. There are dark forces that threaten this kingdom. I know. Witchcraft is an evil father. So is injustice. Yes, I am yet to be king, and I don't know what kind of king I will be, but I do have a sense of the kind of Camelot I would wish to live in. It would be where the punishment fits the crime. I fear you're right. She's played with fire, and sadly she must die by fire. And that's why you need Arthur. He's our best chance. But he won't want to disobey the king. Leave that to me. You all right? Sorry about all this. Merlin's not been in today. Poor Merlin. Yeah. Wofford to give up his life to save Gwen's. I certainly can't imagine any man loving me so much. No, I certainly can't imagine that either. It's because you're not like Merlin. He's a lover. Yeah, maybe that's because I haven't found the right person to love. Sadly, the age of gallantry seems to be dead. You look around and all you see are small men, not big enough to fill their armor. There's not one of them that's able to stand up for what is right. What do you want me to do? You should stay here. I'm coming with you. No. I'm scared I'll show you up? Father will slam us both in chains if he knew I'd endangered you. Well, good thing he doesn't know about it then. I'm telling you, Morgana, turn back. You could get hurt. So could you, if you don't get out of my way. Where is it? 